When you think of Tekoa, you think of the falls, or of the small Bible college that battled back after a terrible flood all but washed it away. It is a town where people say hello to one another on the streets. First names are all that is necessary. And they still gather at the barber shop to spread the latest gossip. Not the type of place where you'd expect to find a story of political intrigue and murder, of contract killing. But that's exactly what the sheriff here in Stevens County thinks he's got. 40-year-old Donald Addison was the Stevens County Tax Commissioner for four years. He was defeated in the last election by Elizabeth Williams. But Addison wanted his job back. He and Mrs. Williams were scheduled to be the only candidates for tax commissioner on the August 5th ballot. Six days before the primary, Elizabeth Williams was found shot to death in the carport of her home. On Sunday, her opponent, Donald Addison, was arrested and charged with murder. Yesterday, another suspect, 29-year-old John Michael Jones, was brought to the Stevens County Jail from Greenville, South Carolina. A third man is still being sought. A fourth suspect may soon be named. Sheriff Don Shirley says he believes Addison had Mrs. Williams killed to eliminate his opposition for the tax commissioner's job, a $14,000 a year position. All we know is that we feel it was a, a paid job. Uh, it was for politically for the office, and uh, we don't know what all else might be behind it at this time. Do you know how much money was paid and how much was intended? Uh, to see money passed in, we don't know that. We heard the figure $1,500 with a larger sum later, but we don't know this for sure. When Elizabeth Williams was killed, six other people entered the race for tax commissioner. Donald Addison came in a distant second, but he still qualified for a runoff against Vicki Whitworth. Even though Addison will be in jail on August 26th when the runoff takes place, his name will remain on the ballot. From Tacoa, Dennis Kauf, Action News.